Hi guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be my current favorites. I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute. It has been so long since I've talked about any of my favorite products. So a lot of these products have to do with kind of like self-care, I guess you could say. So a lot of them are skincare, beauty related. So I just wanted to make one of these videos just to kind of sit down and change up my content a little bit. I've been doing so many college related videos that I kind of wanted to just change it up a little bit. I'm gonna jump right into the sweater that I'm wearing. So I actually got this at TJ Maxx and I believe it was like $16.99. So cute. I posted this on Instagram and so many people complimented me on it. Also, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my username right here. I'm definitely trying to step up my Instagram game a little bit more and take some more pictures and just create more content for you guys. It is so cute though. So hopefully I can find a link for it. If not, I will try to find something similar, but it is so cute. Keeping along track with clothing items, I found this pair of jeans at Marshalls and these are Lucky Brand jeans and I believe I got them in a size 2 slash 26. They are the softest material. They have the whole like rough edge on them so I really like that and the front just has a little bit of distressing on the knees and I just think they're so cute and so flattering. They are high waisted so they do like suck everything in and they just look so good. I probably could even use a zero but they didn't have it at Marshalls. So these were actually $40 at Marshalls. The style of them is the Bridget Skinny. So if you guys can find them, try a pair on. They are life changing. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna kind of talk about some skincare products. I have had the worst luck with my skin the past few months, especially towards the end of last semester. My skin just decided to freak out and I had the worst breakouts I have ever had in my entire life. On my forehead and I finally have started to clear them up and um, a lot of these products have to do with that so first I wanted to talk about this product these are the volition apple cider vinegar resurfacing peel pads so I looked this up and basically um, their little tagline is to wake up to brighter and blemish free skin with this new product um, these are apple cider resurfacing peel pads so they are kind of like um, a chemical peel in a sense the thing that I love about them is that they don't have such harsh chemicals that some peels do so these peel pads resurface skin texture, promote cell renewal, purify clogged pores, and they reduce dark spots and the appearance of acne. So essentially it's like a facial in a package. So the first time I tried these out, I kind of freaked out. My entire face kind of turned a little red because I do have really sensitive skin and I've never tried a product like this. So that is why my skin did turn kind of red, but it did go away within 10 minutes and it was completely normal. Otherwise I've started to incorporate these like one to two times a week. I find that my skin feels a lot smoother and more plump when I wake up the next morning. I've heard so many benefits of apple cider vinegar. I used to take little apple cider vinegar tablets. So apple cider vinegar has potassium, vitamins A, C, and E, and this product also has alpha hydroxy acids that removes dead skin cells. So that's kind of why my face did turn a little red is because of that acid. So you can get these at Sephora. They come in a 30 pack and I'm so excited to keep using these in my skincare routine and just hopefully continue to have beautiful skin. And then the other thing that I contribute to having better skin now is this different gel. Basically, I discovered this product through Allie Fry. She's a Minnesota YouTuber, and I think now she lives in New York City. So basically, I think you could only get this product in the past through a dermatologist, so you had to be prescribed to it. But now they do sell it at drugstores and Target and stuff like that. So I did get this at Target. One little tube is about $12, but I think they have a bigger one for $30. But I seriously believe that this is the main factor to getting rid of my acne. I did want to say that both of these products will make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Definitely amp up on the SPF and shade your face if you are planning to go outside, but these do kind of make your skin more sensitive and peel really easily. So this helped my skin tremendously though. So if you are struggling with some acne, I would definitely give this a shot. Going along with skincare, this is the Belief Believe in Truth Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. So this is a jelly consistency mask. It is so weird, the weirdest thing I've ever used, but it makes my skin feel so soft and kind of plump. That's kind of a gross word, but I only put it around my mouth because that's where I see the most dryness in my face. I don't put it anywhere else in my face. Just when I see that my face is starting to get really dry. So basically what you do is you put this on your face at night and then you sleep with it on and then you wake up and just wash your face like normal and that's it. You wake up with nice soft skin. So really weird that it's a gel consistency, but I do really like it. I do use this about once a week. 
So I was in Colorado in January and I stopped at Lush and I actually picked up a sample of this. This is the American Pie Body Conditioner. So it has fresh strawberry and orange infusions and it leaves skin smelling divine. That's your little tagline on here. But this is vegan and self-preserving. So basically how I use this product is I shave my legs in the shower and then obviously my legs are wet. The very last thing I do in the shower is apply this. I leave it on my wet skin for about 30 seconds and then I just wash it off with water and then I towel dry and that's it. So this seriously helps my skin so much because my legs get so dry in the winter it is so cold here so my skin definitely loves this product and it honestly smells amazing i love it i've gotten my mom hooked on it too so i'm not sure if they sell this exact scent anymore but just in general lush body conditioners have been my favorite Another kind of skincare related product is self tan. This specific one is loving tan. This is the deluxe bronzing mousse um, I have it in dark. The only issue I have with it is my hands. My hands do not like this product very much But I don't know any other good ways to self tan my hands um, The one issue I do have with this product is that if I use it consecutively like weeks in a row exfoliate and put it back on um, I get a little rash kind of around my elbow right here And then I do get it on my torso. Otherwise, I don't get it anywhere else. It's just a rash. It's it's not like a blemish or anything. I find that it doesn't have a terrible scent, but I really like this and it's lasted me quite a while. Really random. This is the Acai Bay. I'm not sure how you pronounce that perfume. This is from Urban Outfitters. I believe it was $18 and I honestly don't know how to explain the scent of it. It smells amazing though. So this is the last product I wanted to mention today. So this is a pair of sunglasses from White Fox Boutique. This is Sarah's Day's collection and I love her. She's so cute. I believe these are like gypsy flower or something. Don't quote me on that, but I just think that they're so cute. Um, they remind me a lot of Ray-Bans. I do have one pair of Ray-Bans that I love, but they are so expensive. So I wanted to get a new pair that are gold. So I like them. I think they're cute and... Um, something a little bit cheaper than a pair of Ray-Bans and a little more affordable. So I love these so much So cute and the case is adorable. It's this beautiful blush pink color. So cute so That is all for this video. Those are all my current favorites that I have been loving lately If you guys want me to continue doing these videos, maybe like seasonally Let me know and I would love to continue it. I'm trying to create more content That's not just vlogs on my channel So if you guys have any video requests that you would like to see let me know in a comment, but that is going to be everything i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys